We are living in a postmodern world, and you're about to meet a postmodern girl who does not understand the difference between authorial intent and reader response. If and you have studied biblical hermeneutics, which we talk about in Herman Who, available at wretched.tv, eh, eh, there's a monstrously big difference between what the author intended and how we are supposed to receive the information. This is a primary skill in biblical hermeneutics. Not trying to figure out how it makes me feel, how I interpret it, but what did the author desire to say? What was he or she trying to communicate? That is the task of biblical hermeneutics. And it's really based on what we thought was common sense. We used to simply accept that notion that if somebody says something to you, that is what they meant to communicate. But that was then, this is now. We are now living in a postmodern era where we believe that we can interpret almost anything any way that we want to. Megan. Yes. Your industrial design. I am. So you can help me out with this statue. I could. I'm going to tell you what I think this statue means and then you respond. Okay. Are you ready? Perfect. I believe that this statue was actually dropped here by the Dairy Queen Corporation. <laughs> okay. Because it kind of resembles a swirl cone. Oh, yeah. To subliminally get people thinking about ice cream. Hey, I do every time I so, <laughs> so I could be yeah. onto something. Yeah. It would increase sales. Is my interpretation of this statue wrong? I don't think any interpretation could be wrong because it's your kind of personal thought about it. Um, I think it's meant to be a little more you know, ice artistic. Than here's what, here's, what, here's what I did. Yes. It says ovation, a tribute to the 1996 Olympic athletes and to those who unselfishly gave of themselves to the betterment of mankind. Okay. So wouldn't that be the interpretation of the art, what the author, what the designer, the sculptor intended it to be? I think once you read the quote or the plaque that's on there, you definitely get a better sense for it. But looking at it without that knowledge, you know, it's a little bit harder. But now that you say that, I can definitely see that. So you would, you would say that I can't interpret this any way that I want to when the artist intended it to mean something different? Um, I don't know. I like art as well, so I think the artist's intention and the actual implication of the person are two different things, you know? Ultimately, the artist mm -hmm. wants it to mean something, obviously, because they intend it and design it a certain way, but, um, you know, how everyone else reads it, I guess, you know, that's hard to just... All right, now, help, help, me, help me out with that, because mm -hmm. it seems to me that if whoever did this beautiful piece of work wants it to be that, we should read it the same way. Can we interpret, say, literature any way that we choose to or do should we accept what the author was intending to convey yeah so i mean literature is very interesting because you know obviously the author intends something as well but if that comes across the first time maybe not but once you have more background into the author you can usually uh, get a good understanding for what they're trying to say or i mean everyone still has different interpretations or else we wouldn't have so much literature. let me give a silly example yeah moby dick okay i don't think it's a story about a whale at all right it's i think it's actually a story about uh, benito mussolini mm -hmm. and that was just symbolic and okay. it was about the taking over of italy during world war ii right now that is a little different mm -hmm. than what i think the author intended right would i be wrong i don't think you can be wrong um no, I think you can, you know, interpret things however you want. Okay. And so that's kind of like the beauty of literature and art. You know, you can kind of put your own spin on it, which is awesome. But, you know, maybe I don't see that same view, but I guess that's the whole point, right? The different interpretations and things. Do not fall into the trap, into thinking that this young lady is a dumb dumb. She is anything but. To attend that tech college, you have got some gray matter. She is not stupid. She simply has been wired differently than you and me. You and I 
We never questioned it. We never even thought to ask, can I interpret what my parents say anytime that I want to? As a child, did you ever hear your mother or father shout, clean up your room? And you responded by saying, what I think I heard you say was, take a nap after eating a Hershey chocolate bar. You never even thought like that. But today's millennial generation does. That's why we're making this new TV show called Untethered, because this is a postmodern millennial generation that believes that art, music, literature, religion, and truth can be interpreted any way that you want to. The good news is they say that we can have read a response and interpret it any way we want, but they don't live like that. Hey, Adrian, how hey, are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you got the flu. I don't have the, I hope I don't have the flu. I feel great. The kids have got a diaper rash. That's not what I said. I think they're just fine. Well, why daddy. do you think the stock market is falling? <laughs> I don't think you're really understanding what I'm saying. You've been to the White House? <laughs> Nobody ever interacts like that. We hear somebody speak and we try to understand what they're trying to communicate. And that is the way that it should be when we read the Bible, when we interpret art, when we read literature, and when we desire to understand what is true.